Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and I'm going to talk to you about closing entries. So the accrual method of accounting requires us to match revenues and expenses to the period. And so when we come to the end of an accounting period, and that could be a month, a quarter, or a year, we make a series of closing entries. And really what that does is it shifts the balance from our temporary accounts on the income statement to the permanent accounts on the balance sheet. So permanent accounts are our assets, liabilities, and equity. Our assets don't go away at the end of the accounting period. And unfortunately, our long-term debt and accounts payable and wages payable, they just don't vanish at the end of the period. And the equity that the owner or stockholder as a, has accrued, well, we're happy to say that continues from period to period. But we have accounts that are temporary, and those are what we see on our income statement, revenues, expenses, and any kind of owner's draw or dividend accounts. We also have this most temporary of all accounts, which is income summary, which is really a pass-through account. And what we end up doing is we take our revenues and expenses, and we send them to this kind of temporary holding bucket. And that temporary bucket is income summary. After we've moved revenues and expenses to income summary, what we'll really have is net income. Where do we send that? That goes to either owner's or stockholder's equity. That just leaves one account in the temporary accounts that has been closed and that account is owner's draw. Owner's draw is a direct closing entry to a new bucket, owner's equity or owner's capital. And really, this whole idea of closing is simply a set of journal entries. So here I am with my trial balance and my ledger for my closing entries. You'll notice that at the top of your trial balance are all of your asset accounts, cash, prepaid insurance, your vehicles. After that, we have our liability accounts, notes payable, wages payable. And then we have our equity account, owner's capital. Well, those are the three types of accounts that I just told you were permanent. When we look below owner's capital, we see we have owner's draw, temporary, service revenue, temporary, and then our expense accounts, temporary. So our goal with these closing entries is to zero out everything from owner's draw down. And we're going to begin with service revenue. Well, service revenue has a normal credit balance. So for service revenue, I'm now going to make an entry of 5370 because that debit now offsets the credit balance. And what am I going to do? I'm going to send it to, own, to income summary. Now I'm going to close all of my expense accounts. Well, my expense accounts all have a normal debit balance so that's going to require a credit entry. So I'm going to close rent expense, business license expense, repairs and maintenance, advertising expense, wage expense, telephone expense, and my depreciation expense. Now all of my expense accounts have a zero balance. And I'm going to send all of the all of those expenses. I'm going to send them to income summary with a single debit entry. So I'm just going to say, what's the sum of all of my expenses? And that gives me my debit entry for income summary. So what you'll notice is I have a credit of 5370 in income summary, I have a debit of 3865. The difference in the two is going to be 
equal to net income. So I need to now make another debit to income summary. Well, how much is that debit going to be? It's going to be my credits minus my debits. And that entry is going to be 1505. Where am I sending net income? I'm going to send it to owner's capital. All right. Everything's good because I balance. Now I only have one other temporary account that I haven't closed yet. And that's owner's draw. Owner's draw has a debit balance. And so I have to make a credit entry in order to zero that out. Where did we say owner's draw went? It goes to owner's capital. So I made four closing entries. I sent service revenue to income summary. I sent my expenses to income summary. I took the balance in income summary and I sent it to owner's capital. And the very last thing I did was I closed the owner's drawing account to owner's capital. And my debits eat me match my credits the balance in service revenue and all of my expense accounts and my owner's draw account are now zero and I'm ready to start over the next accounting period I hope this helped and thanks for watching